Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new on my channel, then welcome. Today's video is yet again a makeup tutorial. The tutorial is on the look that I was wearing in my current makeup obsessions video. I was just playing around with the Morphe 15N. This is the Night Master palette. I had just got it. I tried it out for the first time that day, and I created this half cut crease uh, smoky eye with a bit of glitter liner in the crease as well. This is one of my favorite Morphe palettes alongside the Jaclyn Hill palette of course. I mean the Jaclyn Hill palette is like a cult favorite. Although I am currently waiting for the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault collection to arrive. Keep your eyes open because once I get my hands on that Vault collection you can expect several tutorials using those palettes. So yeah, exciting stuff coming soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for requesting this tutorial yet again. I love when you guys request videos, so without further ado, if you want to see how I created this makeup look, then keep on watching. I have already prepped my eyes and I used the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and the Bourjois Healthy Balance Unifying Powder on my eyes and the Catrice Camouflage Cream Concealer in the Wake Up Effect underneath my eyes. And then it was time for the eyeshadow and I first took the shade Selfie and I put that pretty sloppily all around my crease area. I'm first putting down the most amount of pigment on the outer corner of the eye and then I took it all the way to the inner corner of the eye and as I get closer to the brow bone I am just kind of blending it out and trying to diffuse the edges to make it look as blown out and smoky as possible. Once I had built up the color to what I wanted it to look like. I went in with the shade Goals and I'm doing pretty much the exact same thing with that shade as well. I'm just keeping the color a bit lower so that the first initial orange shade that we put down wouldn't be completely lost. Uh, I want there to be like a gradient from lighter to darker and uh, again I'm just following the natural eye shape pretty much just going in my eye sockets and going back and forth doing those windshield wiper motions and trying to blend out that darker brown with the lighter brown. I then went back in with the first crease brush to diffuse the edges and then I added a bit more of the shade goals right at the outer corner of the eye and I really wanted to kind of wing out the darker shade to lift the eye and then I noticed that on my other eye I had blended the color down way more than I had done on the first eye so I just went back in and drag the color a bit more down. And then I took the shade Selfie again and I just ran over the outer edges. Next up I took Editorial and I'm pretty much just packing it on my eye. I'm focusing the main amount of color on the lash line and as I drag it more towards the crease area I'm kind of blending it out and diffusing it with the other colors. Um, so I'm going in this V shape formation again uh, and as I have built up enough intensity in my outer corner I am slightly starting to drag the shade all over my crease and pretty much in my inner corner as well. And then I went back in with the previous brushes to just again go over those edges, really blow them out, make everything look super smoky and blended. I took the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer again and I started carving out the first half of my lid and this is pretty much where the half cut crease is going to be. So as you can see I just sped up the whole process because it took me a while. Um, but yeah I just carved out the first half and then I went in with the shade Illustrated and I'm packing that on my lid starting from the middle part and I am packing it on building up the color and I'm working it from the lash line to the crease area so that I wouldn't mess up the line that I just created. And then I took the shade Unique and I'm putting that mainly in my inner corner um, and slowly starting to drag it on the lid as well, but I am stopping pretty much one third of the way in. I only want the light color to be at the very, very beginning of my eye or the very, very inner corner of my eye. And then it was time for the glitter liner. So I took the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Glam Rock and with a liner brush, I am just following the shape of the concealer and the eyeshadow that we just put down. I'm following that natural 
eye socket line and uh, again not taking it all the way through I'm stopping about two-thirds of the way in I repeated the exact same thing on the other eye and then I let it dry off a bit and that is pretty much the eyes done I applied some mascara and some falsies off camera just to speed up the video a bit and uh, that is how the eyes ended up looking. I went in with some foundation next and I am using my ultimate favorite, the Catrice Ultra HD foundation and I'm mixing the shades light beige and sand beige and I am beauty blending them on my face. I don't think I mentioned it in my previous videos, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am finally rid of that Eco Tool sponge that I just did not like at all and I'm so happy that I, I have a beauty blender again and it's just it's a completely different world nothing beats this guy in my opinion um, but anyway I am moving on to concealer and I'm using again one of my favorites the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade light neutral and I'm again just beauty blending it in and covering up those dark circles underneath my eyes. Next it was time for brows and I also did that off camera. All the details will be in the description box of what I used. It's pretty much the same routine as always. <laughs> then I set down my under eyes with the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder by Too Faced. Still love this stuff and still don't use anything else so yeah nothing's changed and then I'm finishing up the lower lash line of the look and I'm first taking the shade selfie again and I'm running that pretty low on my lower lash line and I'm then mixing the shades editorial and goals and I'm running that closer to my lower lash line pretty much in my lower lash line um, and then I took the Wet n Wild Color Icon Cold Liner in the shade Simmer Brown now and I'm both tight lining and using it in my waterline and then I went over the pencil with the shades Goals and Editorial and I'm just really really smoking it all out and making it all nice and blended and then again I'm taking the shade Selfie and just running it over the whole thing. And using the shade Unique, I am highlighting my brow bone and my inner corners. And then I, of course, used some mascara on my bottom lashes as well. And again, nothing's changed. MAC Falls Lashes Extreme Black Mascara, as always. And I am just adding a tad of the Bare Minerals Powder Concealer in the shade Well Rested underneath my eyes. And then I am going in with the highlighter that is currently my favorite and it is the Milani Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder in the shade number two. And I'm highlighting the usual areas, going over my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, just the usual stuff. And I'm also adding a bit on the inner corners as well, just to make them pop even more. And then I of course took my trusty old elf brush and I am just patting over the highlighted areas to make them blend into the skin a bit more and I cannot get over, <laughs> cannot get around this bronzer. Of course the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer um, is what I'm using to bronze my face uh, and yeah that's, I, I don't even want to comment on this anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit ashamed. Of course, I couldn't do without this one. This is the Givenchy Healthy Glow Powder in the shade number two, and I'm just going over my whole face as per usual. I love that bronzy golden glow that it gives to my skin, so I just can't do without it. Um, and uh, again, just finishing touches using that e.l.f. brush to go over all of the areas on my face to make sure that there are no harsh edges anywhere, nothing that looks unblended. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just finishing up the lips with the MAC lipsticks in the shade Velvet Teddy and Honey Love. First putting down the shade Velvet Teddy and then going over a bit with the shade Honey Love. And then just getting rid of the excess lipstick, making sure that everything is nice and even. And then finally adding some setting sprays. I'm first using the Milani Make It Last setting spray and then I'm topping it off with the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. And uh, that is it my friends, that is the whole makeup look. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you didn't find it too difficult to follow. I love this palette, I love how the look turned out, I love the glitter and all of that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!